This same fine motor model can be found inside multiple different AC unit brands, and pairing failures appear to be very common in these. This unit is only three years old and has been used only occasionally. So, let's fix this noise issue. The first thing is to get the motor out. The procedure depends a bit on the AC unit brand and model, but you can check online for repair manuals, which might tell you how to disassemble the unit. At least for this Alpicare unit, I found one. Before you do anything, disconnect the power from the unit, because otherwise you might get a deadly shock. Also, be very careful that you don't damage the coils and fins of the unit. Note that if we are planning to replace the whole motor, they seem to be available with different axle length under the same model name. To get the motor open, you need to pry off the bottom cover. Don't bend the cover, just go around it using a flat screwdriver and little by little pry it open. It is held in by the rear bearing and some thermal paste. After that you need to remove the controller PCP. You need to desolder these pins to get the board out. I recommend to remove the solder using a solder wick or solder vacuum to make it easier to fit the board back afterwards. Be careful when you lift the board up. After removing the board you can pull the rotor out. Then remove the lock rings which are pre preventing the bearings from going too far in. After that you can remove the bearings. I didn't have proper tools to get the bearings out, so I made this bearing removal tool from some scrap metal. I just grinded a slot in the metal seat and then inserted the axle in and then I tapped using a hammer and the bearings popped up easily. The slot must be narrow enough so that the force is applied on the inner ring of the bearing without breaking it. This is the size of the bearing, which is fortunately a pretty common one, so I could easily find replacements. I used the same tool to install the new bearings by tapping them in using a hammer. You must install the lock rings first, so that you don't push the bearings too far in. Then you can insert the rotor back inside the stator. Make sure that you don't leave any debris in the small gap between the parts. Next you can solder back the PCB. If you have solder residue on the PCB pads, don't push the port, port too much, otherwise you will lift up the pads and break them. To avoid overheating, you should apply some thermal paste or thermal glue over the chip. Since the gap is pretty large and I didn't have a thick enough thermal paste, I cleaned the top of the chip and placed a pile of thermal pads on top and then pressed back the bottom cover. I was lazy and I didn't clean the old thermal paste from the cover, so I rotated it 180 degrees before putting it back to get a fresh and clean surface for the thermal pads. The cover is symmetrical. Don't push the back cover too hard. The rear bearing will keep it in, and also when you install it back on the unit, at least in this specific KC unit, there is a bracket for the motor so that it cannot even come apart if it's sitting in, the, in that bracket. After that you can install the rest of the parts and finish all the installations and then you can check the results.